is up guys and welcome back to the channel how is everyone um we got our coils we got the right ones that will actually fit now so we are good to go i am going to get those mounted in and uh get the plug wires i just got to get the plug wires from my truck they're in my truck still so with that being said let's jump right in Just like that we have the coils installed on both sides um, I do have a problem with this oil cap it won't fit with the coil right there so I am actually just gonna shave down to uh, I'm just gonna shave down two little spots so it will go on let me get rid of these two right here and it should should go on I might have to do three. I'm going to do these three. Just cut cut it a little flat right there. So I'm going to do that real quick so the oil cap can go back on so the rag's not in there. Okay, so I got the oil cap shaved down. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not real happy with how it turned out. Uh, so I am in the process of finding a different one that possibly will fit with that coil. So this is what it looks like. It just... <clears throat> looks real crappy so either i'm gonna try to fix this one and get it nice and shaped or find one completely different hoping that it will clear uh the coil um because it the coil gets plugged in right here and this piece that holds the uh plug wire for the coil the clip right here is what what stops it so this just imagine this is let me get it off so when it's originally, if I put it this way, it clears everything. But when it wasn't on there, you would get this down there and it wouldn't let it spin because it would hit right there. So <clears throat> I think I'm just going to try to figure out what size this is. And see if I can get one that will fit without having to uh, have it shaved like that. Because I'd rather just get one completely different. But that works for now. I'm just not happy with it. Uh, I am waiting for the plug wires. Um, not the plug to uh, the spark plug wires. But I'm waiting for the actual coil plug wires. Because I have uh, the plug wires right here. Um, I'm not putting them on though. I'm actually in the process of trying to find some... Uh, heat shielding for them because i want to put them in heat shielding but i don't want to do i don't want to do this kind of heat shielding the color that the holly uh terminator x came with the the heat shielding on this is real nice they did a really nice job i just don't like the silver look <coughs> of it i want to try to keep keep that probably black so i'm in the process of looking for some black colored one um and so i'm looking for that i have some other stuff coming in that i'm waiting on um so one of the things i have coming in is going to actually help with that hole right there so i'll have to disconnect the alternator wire that runs up to the alternator um and get that out of the floorboard um and then fix that hole and then drill a hole and put a rubber grommet for that I do have a question if anyone actually has good recommendations. Let me grab a light so we can, I can actually, you can actually see what I'm kind of talking about. So the whole car in certain areas has this sound detonation and all that. Does anyone have a really good way of how to get it, how to get it up? Um, I've seen people use uh, um, dry ice. And I'm curious if anyone else has any other ways. Um, if so, please leave it in the comments because I am really, 
I'd really the another thing I'd like to do since I don't have the seat in is I'd like to get all that sound detonation out and then I'd like to actually paint the floor to make it nicer. Um I actually want to do uh kind of like a bed liner, I guess you could call it, material in there so it's real nice and kind of grippy. And I think it would just overall make the aesthetics of the car look better. Um so yeah, if you have any idea for that, leave it in the comments. Um but that's gonna be it for now because we're waiting on some parts. Uh please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode.